Justin, hold on. Hold I'm on. Good. That's I'm on good. the air. We're no, on the we're air. We're live now. Yeah, wow. I'm that live. Went, yeah. I don't, went a lot I faster. I'm good. Pirate's good. <laughs> okay. Pirate's good. Good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is uh, the smartphone photographers community here on Google+. Plus. I am <laughs> Ann Pruitt. I hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable. Uh, we got a bunch of our community members here tonight in our weekly hangout that we like to call Point and Shoot. Each week we share our pictures and tips and tricks from the week um, that we took with our smartphones. Not your fancy smancy DSLRs and point and shoots. We use our smartphones in this community and take some damn good shots. And along with that, we also have a weekly photo challenge that we um, put each other to the test to see how creative we can get with our shots as well as sticking to the theme of the challenge. Uh, Miss Deborah Walmer Basimbi, she presented it this week as last week's winner, and we'll get into that after we do the rundown and introductions of everybody that's in the hangout tonight. So first up, according to my screen, we have Miss Alice Saunders in the house. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for coming out. And one more thing for the folks watching, if you look down at the little you know, the little bottom section and see all the little talking heads, and one of those heads looks like I'm chomping on some burgers. It is. I'm um, sorry to be rude, but I'm hungry. But anyway, next up we have Miss Deborah Walmer, the Simbi, also known as the Hello. Nerd Girl. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for coming Hello. out. I wore my glasses tonight. Yeah, and that's another thing. We wanted to be a little more festive tonight and just go wild and crazy. So we're doing the um, the uh, animations and stuff that Google Plus likes to like to give us all. So, so where's yours? Hopefully, we I'm wearing mine. Can't you tell? <laughs> 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 no, I'll fix something up here in a minute. Uh, Mr. Matt Lee, how you doing, man? Just taking some pictures. Pictures all you snapshots of it. That doesn't count. <laughs> We're in your We're in trouble. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. It's it's been a minute since I've uh, been able to catch one of these, so I was sitting here getting some shows posted. I figured, hey, I'm gonna come do this. So here I am. Yeah. It's greatly appreciated. But turn your mic up so we can hear you, cuz. What? Ah, oh, get out of here. <laughs> you know what the problem is with Matt? I didn't recognize him because of the hat being missing. No, he's do he doesn't have his hat on. It's true. No, I, I cut my hair once a year when it hit 70 degrees here, and it did not last. <laughs> <week>. no. <laughs> good point. Good point. Well, appreciate you coming out, man. I know you get pretty busy. Next up, Michael King. How you doing, brother? Party man. Well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> that hat doesn't say that. Well, uh... Let's put it this way. We had some wind up north of us, and I'm having to take care of it. So it's busy, busy, busy for you yet again. Yes, called the EF4 tornado. Oh, that, that will do it. Oh, yeah. that was the mile wide. Just a little busy. I read that in the paper. It took out a bunch of stuff. Six, there are six fatalities. Sixteen are still missing. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Holy cow. Sorry to hear that, man. He... Hang in there. I appreciate you coming out this evening, though. Oh yeah, anytime. It's kind of. I'm right now doing both this and planes. <laughs> Multitask, my man. Multitask. Next up, Mr. Michael Porters. How you doing, brother? Michael. I'm good. Porters. I don't know what happened to my video. Uh, I don't see my face on. I don't see anything. My web camera's on. Though, we see you. We see, we see you. you. We see you. We see you. <laughs> We're, I mean, you're, you're looking like you're looking everywhere but at your camera. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to figure it out. God, everybody's taking pictures. Uh, yeah, I see all these clips and stuff like that. And I have a new setup this week, so I'm trying to still get used to how I want to work it all. So um, we'll talk about it. I got a fancy new camera all uh, right. to do this, so I'm excited. But, well, we look we look forward to it, man. Appreciate you coming out, and I know you you had some stuff going on, so I really appreciate you <laughs> taking the time to join us tonight. Always, Next always. up, Mr. Mike Sweeney, how you doing, brother? Bloop bloop bloop. <laughs> <laughs> you need some bubbles now. I, yeah, I was looking for some bubbles out, and there's no bubble sounds. I was very <laughs> disappointed. 
<laughs> no, I figured the uh, the mask was the uh, perfect uh, costume to have on, given some of the pictures I put up this week. I totally, totally agree. Totally agree. Appreciate you coming out as always, Mike. No worries. And last but not least, Mr. Robert Knight. How you doing, R. <laughs> <laughs> doing well, doing well. Nice and warm, finally. <laughs> Does that describe your mood or something? Or just... uh, kind of the day how it started. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it's scary. It. Is how good that outfit looks on him. Yeah, no, it fits yeah. him, right? <laughs> it's perfect. He's perfect for him. Good grief. Anyway, well, thank you, thank you for coming out, my man. I appreciate All right. it. All right, so let's get into this week's challenge. Um, Deborah challenged us with portraits two weeks ago because last week we had technical difficulties with the Hangout, so you didn't get to see it. Um, apologize for that, but it wasn't our fault for once. At least it wasn't mine anyway. But um, we just wanted to do some portraits, and according to her challenge, she said that she wanted the pictures to show their personality or their emotions at that particular time. Right, Deborah? That's right. All right. Now... We had a good bit of folks um, <coughs> submit some pictures as usual, and thank you. And this week we have a winner, and it looks like it's a brand new winner, so I'm going to share the screen. Let's, uh oh, we got one more person joining in late, Miss Michelle Thorns. How Hi, are you? Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello. We see you. Welcome. Thank you for coming out. Oh, well, all oh, mine got deleted when they, uh, tra when they switched over. Uh, right, so I'm gonna share this week's winner. Um, oh, y'all like see that, that okay? Uh huh. Yeah. All right. I like that one. Now this is from I believe his name was Brady. Whoops, sorry, I clicked on it. Shouldn't clicked on it. Go back. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Not know how to operate your computer. <laughs> you didn't see that. I don't want to hear it. All right, Brady Glenn of Pixel Core took this shot. Oh, he's trying the pixel core. Yay, pixel Yay. core. Yay. Yay. <laughs> pixel core. Very the good. Man, fellow fellow pixel he used um he used Snapseed to edit this shot. And uh I can't tell what it what did he shoot it with? <coughs> I don't see what it is. Photo details. Photo details. Photo details. Photo details. Drop wow. down. Use what if I don't want to go there? There you go. Details. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just off the metadata. Mm. Oh, now that's Suspect. interesting. Suspect a little. Mm. Was that a, was it a smartphone camera, folks? You know what it is. He probably took some of that with a smartphone camera, but then did the editing and stuff in a program that resaved the picture and stripped the data out. Uh, the rest, sense. my case. Makes sense. Yeah. Appreciate Matt Lee being on the investigation there. It's probably you know <laughs> the, he probably he's probably using a lot of the Pixel Core's uh, editing stuff, and yeah. they've got some fabulous equipment. All right, they have some really really good stuff yeah. there. So I've heard they you guys raving about them before, and I haven't really dug into them yet though. Well, if we, if we haven't get Liana, she's a member of Pixel Core in yeah, here. I'm a member of the Pixel Core. Yeah. I'm a member. If, okay, if I'm gonna ask a stupid question. What's Pixel Core? I was just going to ask that. If someone doesn't know. It is a, uh, ready? It is a multimedia guild of people who specialize in all forms of digital entertainment and creation. Has they, anyone heard of Alex Lindsay? That's right. Yeah. I believe Alex Lindsay. Said Alex no. Lindsay is our fearless leader. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. And in fact, his, the offices are in... Uh, uh, part Hello. of the brick house. Yeah, yes. San Francisco Bay Area. So, Michael, is there like a secret handshake and everything? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, there is. <laughs> how do How do you get in on Pixelcore? Um, actually, it. you know what? I believe you can visit Pixelcore.com and sign up to be a part of the multimedia guild. I think is what Alex normally says. So, so are, yeah, I rec I recommend it. They do a lot of really cool projects and. Um, uh, it's a lot of good information, and people who are interested in multimedia as a whole, as a career, it's definitely worth. Um, the time oh yes, to. right. And, and this is, and let me, let me, let me be clear about it. this is not just photography. And actually, no, photography is, is a very small subset. Oh, really, video, most of these yeah. folks work in the film industry, film industry, either in FX or sound effects or scripting 
or they work with Mondo or some of the bigger you know effects tools and whatnot. We got yeah. some very high powered talent. Well, you know, Alex around. Lindsay, he was he worked for George Lucas and yes, uh, the uh, doing he's with the special effects people that did all the Star Wars stuff. So yeah. he that so that's where he got his start. Oh, so yeah. yeah, nice. It's serious business, gentlemen. It's serious business. Well, I'll definitely look into it. I doubt I'll be able to get in or anything like that. But it's, oh yeah, I'm I got curious it. to see what else they have in there. You know, if they let me in, they'll let me in. We have an in. Mr. Sweeney said he'd get us in. That's right. Because <laughs> really what, what Alex is all about is it's a way to mentor up-and-coming or people that are interested in getting into the industry or who are just curious about the industry. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you have to have certain qualifications. It's really you want to desire and you want to be able to you know, put some work into it. But it's very cool. And there's also a, another, um, if you're interested in that sort of environment, there's also, I think it's uh, called FX PhD. And they offer uh, real training, official training on a lot of these tools through VPN and other remote access. Hmm. So there, there's some awesome resources out on the net now if you're interested oh, yeah. in that type of uh, training. Very good. So I'm going to set up my little face here. here. That better, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right. Well, that was um. What's kung fu fighting? <laughs> <laughs> nice. on? Wax on. Yeah, three nice. people without, that, four people without costumes on. Let's go! Come on. On the left, so on you'll the left. see a little yellow square. It says Google Effects with a little like magic wand. Oh, so okay. Yep, you click on that, and then you can scroll through the different options on the on the right hand side. Wait, so did I, I just change? Yep, you yep. changed. Yeah. Well done, sir. Okay, am I good now? Okay. Very good. <laughs> now let's um let's get into this week's submissions. Um, first up, Miss Alice Saunders. Okay. I'll put you on the spot there. You didn't see that. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so we want to. So we want to share the screen here. Not that one. Uh oh. <laughs> no, not that one. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's get at it. Ooh, Catwoman. Well, yeah, I do want to share. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I want to share my desktop. Now you want to check. Um. Because my picture's on my desktop. Can you get in there yet? No. Hey, you look like Fruit Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she look, he, and looks like he should be at uh, oh. Google I.O. <laughs> I wish, brother. I wish. All right. So this is... This is Mr. Me... Oh, you took it away. It'll come up again. Oh, what did I do with it? Now I what lost. Is, I don't think Google likes <laughs> that's, that's official. I, I can't. I'm not seeing anybody's pictures. We can see you, though. We can see you, you're Portis. <laughs> yeah, your camera's kind of right glitchy. There, and there's the picture. There <laughs> we go. And I see Colonel yeah. Clink. <laughs> We want to share that one. And now if you want, go. I can pull it up. There, there we go. go. There we go. Yay! Right. <laughs> so you got it now. Yes. Oh, yeah. He is seriously driving. Now tell us who oh, this yeah. is. Oh, yes. Tell us who this is for those that don't know. Oh, that's my husband, Rob. He was in here, what, once? <laughs> no, he's been in here a couple times. He's been in here a couple times. Now you um, what what emotion or personality are you trying to oh, capture? Oh, serious, right here? very serious. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, we're on our way to the River Cats AAA baseball game. Oh, okay. Yay, Central Valley people! So, in other words, you're saying he has his um his game face on, right? Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and we what did you use? We... iPhone. Yes, uh, iPhone 5, 
And then I cropped and used, I cropped and used the drama feature in Snapseed. Oh, okay. I love those filters. Some of them get a yeah, little wild. Yeah, that was a last minute thing to go to the ball game. Not a thing wrong with that you got there. You got well, any other shots you'd like to share? We, we went because Wheeler was pitching, and he's an up and coming for the Mets. As you can see, he's got his Mets shirt on. Oh, or my okay. Mets shirt on. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a Yankee fan. Oh, we're sorry. Wait a minute. <laughs> How can you be a Yankee fan? Oh, come on now. Look at How can you be a Yankee fan wearing a Mets shirt? No, no, no. I'm not teasing. You can't wear a Mets shirt. <laughs> That's cross town. You got to beat them up. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a I'm a Mets fan, although they are at the at the bottom in ranking right now. <laughs> Never matters. Nobody crosses the evil empire. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Walk the plank. Well, I appreciate your shot there. Okay. Now we're we gonna... done with that shot. <laughs> What's that? If we're done with that, I'll unscreen share. Yep, you can finish yep. screen share. I'm gonna switch it over. To show? Did you have any? No, that's yeah, the only one photos? I did this time. Any other photos? Anything that you just posted in the community in particular? No. Just... Nothing. You're no. supposed to do a self-portrait. Nothing, honey. Uh, let's see. <laughs> see, the bar is going to get you now. You're supposed okay. to do a self-portrait this week. But I didn't. You just, that's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you back for that. Thank you, though, Alice. Yeah. What about you, Ms. Deborah? Oh, well, you know. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see I'm what you got. Okay. There we go. So this was um, my daughter. And, um, you know, one of the, the things I wanted to do with this challenge this week was is get people to do, think differently mm -hmm. and to really think out the shot and not just take candids, but I mean, candids are fine if they're what you want to capture, but really think about, you know, what kind of angles I can to, to um, change the angle to give a different illusion. Yeah. Um, so, like, I wanted her to seem like she's very tall for her age, so I wanted her that to really put, get portrayed, like, in the picture, but she's uh -huh. bigger than she's, she's only nine. Well, she's ten now. She's ten? Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, and, she does uh, look very large. <laughs> yes, and she's she's very um serious a lot of the time, very uh li like literal and logical. And so here she is eating a lollipop, you know, and it's capturing her kid kind of, you know. Anyway, that was what I was going for. I love it. It looks like you blurred out the edges. Is that what I did. you did? I did. There was some clutter in one of the corners, and I was like, oh, I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that one. And let's see, the next one. Love that shot. Love it. This one is um, <coughs> my son and uh, has the caroscuro at Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that shot. A different, well, this is a different one. This is mm -hmm. not the same as the one I submitted for the other. The other one was a black and white, and it was a, he was actually had his eyes closed. Eyes were closed in that yeah. one, wasn't it? And here he has his um, his lamb next to him, shows like sweetness. But you can also see like in his forehead a little bit of like trepidation. <laughs> you see that? So he's like a little. Afraid. He's like, what is mom doing? She's always got this Actually, camera in my face. No, it's because he doesn't like um, to sleep by himself. Oh, okay. And he was right before he went to bed. So. <clears throat> Look at the details this camera got. I mean, you can see his little peach fuzz. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Now, Deborah, that shot huh? there with wait, you and the computer. Okay, yeah. Wait. Let me go back. This one? No, the next no. one. No, the next one. The next one. It's got, it's got the wrong one. That one right there. That <laughs> shot yeah. was the money. Wrong logo. Wrong logo. That, that <laughs> shot was the money. Wrong I mean, logo. Uh, it, it's so many angles were 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 taken with that shot far as captions go. <laughs> that, uh, yes, we had angles. a ball with that one in the community. If you couldn't tell from the comments, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all about the angles. It's perfect, just just Next. perfect. 
<laughs> and and, the, the, and the thing, it was a mistake. <laughs> now I like I this one set too. up. I had this. I have this little um, oil lamp on my outside patio uh, table. It's like a big ceramic thing with a. Um, am I boring you? She's he's yawning. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> so I was kind of like setting my phone on that to kind of balance it, and my finger hit. The button, you know, the take your picture button. So it's, it's anyway. called a shutter button. Shutter. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The shutter. <laughs> picture taking button. I like that. I like it better. So. um ATB. Anyway, so this is my and this is my last one. <clears throat> I think out of the three self portraits that I did, I think this one actually shows. Whoopsie. My personality more. I like that one, too. Wrong logo. <laughs> it's, it's definitely nerdy. You hold know, on, it's definitely hold on. Nerdy. What, what logo would you like to be there? The that Apple would logo. The only Apple. One that Sorry, Apple's I'm always for the good do. people. And you watch Apple is the only one that matters, gentlemen. Watch, the watch your movies. The, the bad guys have always got black Dells, and the good guys have apples. Well, well she's got an HP, so she's got better than both. <laughs> no. In the you know what? <laughs> Long time at SD, SD Drive. Y'all are killing me with all the tech talk here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I like all that the one. Google people were using. <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot. All the people are using uh, MacBook Pros well, and thank MacBook you, Airs. Deborah. All of my own so far. That's I could have that if I wanted it, but I don't want it. So there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're not going to talk tech tonight. We're not going to. No comment. We won't we talk, tech talk tonight. Tech. No we're comment. We're just going to do photography tech. How about that? <laughs> Loading Jeez. forward cannons. Another <laughs> tech war. Again, thank you, Deborah. I appreciate your, uh, your uh, shots there. Next up, Mr. Matt Lee. You have anything, brother? Share this. I am. This is. <laughs> Okay. Are My we getting a two for one now? now? Doesn't want you want me to share this, but I think it fits well with what you guys were talking about, even though it wasn't made for that. So. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's, a, there's a story for this. I took She's this to beat you for putting that up there. <laughs> right now. Can't hear you, man. What you say? Okay, listen. There's there's a story that that goes with it. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, if I took that picture and put it on the Nexus 10, and I made it the size to where her head was the size of my real head, and then I walked around with a tablet in front of me and just like freaked her the hell out because it was like her. You're not right. This one of her dog that I also would like to share. <laughs> Hold on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Walking Dead Man. Walking Dead Man. Photos. Not, uh -oh. Not Michelle's. Not yeah. photos. Let's hope the personal albums don't show up. <laughs> yeah, let's. And the dog. There Look at the dog's face. Ooh. Oh. I don't know, right? I mean, this dog has this, this stuffed pig that it, if you tell it to get the pig, it'll like, yeah. Anyway, there's my, my contribution. Thank you. What's the dog's personality? You're lucky. <laughs> <at it. laughs> Good grief, man. Jeez. Well, thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. And thank you, Miss k Dog, back there in the background. Mr. King. Party uh, man, what you got for us? Oh, let me first go over here. That's, the, go. that's the entry. I love that shot, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and I just when I was at the doctor's house or office earlier today, I, before they decided to blow it up, there's a picture of the Astrodome. Oh, I remember the Astrodome. Way in the back there. Warren mm -hmm. Moon days. Yeah. No, no, no. Earl yeah. Campbell. Well, and Earl Campbell, yeah. Well, we all played there. Yeah, what the Love You Blue era. Yeah, that is that is that is a good shot, man. Did you do any touch up on it or anything? No, I just used uh, the H 
HDR plus, and that was it on the iPhone 5. Love it. I could I could barely see you right there on that large building on the right. You can see your little yeah. iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's a glass building, and whether everything is hard to keep from not getting a shadow, no matter where you put it. Right. Still nice, though. I love the clouds in that. Dramatic, yeah. brother. Dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. You got any other shots? Uh, let me go back over there. I have the one that I did with uh, just a regular camera. There we go. That's just that was just done with the uh, iPhone's camera without any no no anything. I like that one better. It seems a yeah. little brighter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh huh. But did pretty well. Can't... Did pretty well for shooting through the glass. Actually, through the glass. You can see the reflection. Yeah. There. yeah. Yeah. And we were. I'm twenty eight floors up in the air. <laughs> uh, right. Because right at where that building is, this, this brown building. Whoa. Where that brown building is is Reliance Stadium. Mm -hmm. Robert, you had a question for him? Yeah, uh, actually, for Mike Sweeney, he might have some advice oh. on this. Uh, keep that picture up, though. Okay. Is there any way to get his ghost out of the glass through editing? Yes. Sometimes if you, you put can. You the cover all the way up to the glass. Well, that that's one way. So you'd put it all the way up, or if you take your hand and you cup it over the top. Yeah. What you're doing is you're blocking the light from hitting your camera. The problem is there's I couldn't get as close to the glass as I can get because there was a table there right. and chairs. That's the waiting room. Well, you oh, can okay. climb on top of the table. I was gonna say that sounds like an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't think he wanted it that bad. No, no, no. he didn't. He didn't. Well, he's, like like every other, he's like every Where's other shooter out there. It's point and click. <laughs> Doesn't good want to stuff, sacrifice. Man. Good stuff. Well, Mr. Okay, King, so thank you. That's very good shots, man. Yeah, thank you. We're gonna move over to my man, Mr. Google hates me, Michael Portis. Hey, it, it does. <laughs> now, I, it does. Can you guys hear me? Even yes, we hear you we can just hear you. fine. Okay, good. Michael okay, King good. just dropped out. I I don't know what's going on with Google. Okay, so I'm gonna go and uh, show. Uh oh. I think you have bandwidth shots, issues, Portis. Um, wah, 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 wah. Now there, my cooking's back. Yeah, uh, fluid, my fluid amp just, app just okay. crashed. I thought you said your fluid was empty. <laughs> what? No, no, there's an app that I use. It's called. It oh, no, in fact, it was Google Chrome that crashed. Oh, come on. Portis, Nothing your, Google um, makes crashes. Portis, your bandwidth is low. Hello? What is it? Oh. Oh, oh, you already? <laughs> 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 Next. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Portis, we're going to come back to you. you having bandwidth issues, brother. Like on the uh, the Apollo? Is it bandwidth? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Definitely yeah. your bandwidth. You're clipping very badly. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. real bad. <laughs> We'll go to Houston, Mr. We got a problem. Um, we'll go to Mr. Uh, Sweeney right now. Michelle Thorns, we'll come to you next, okay? Uh oh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> All right, fine. What you got, bro? Me? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing. <laughs> So, in celebration of shooting underwater with the iPhone, I decided to have a mask on. Oh, my goodness. Now, th this particular picture was, in fact, taken underwater with the iPhone using the dry suit. Uh, about two feet, maybe three feet under, shooting upwards a little bit, as my youngest was madly swimming past me. That's adorable. Hmm. I love it. That is a good one. And, you know, it, it's, it is tricky to shoot underwater. The camera, if you leave it on single shot, Auto, it's dog slow because it can't find focus. So mm -hmm. the trick is put it on HDR, but as as Mr. Knight and I figured out, HDR will sometimes leave you with uh, some very interesting results. <laughs> so, and and the second lesson of the interesting results is trying to edit in bright sunlight. Bad idea. You really want to see what the hell you're doing before you post. <laughs> 
my question to you, because again, I'm ignorant to all of it. If just shooting something just outside of water, and you have all of that movement and stuff going around, you get blur. You, you're under the water, and you had all of these bubbles and stuff moving. How does that yeah. affect your shot? It it can. So the way HDR works on the Apple native program is it takes one shot with a fast shutter and one shot with a slow shutter to get okay. the highlights and the darks. And you can actually look at both and decide which one you want. I use it a lot, not so much that I want the HDR effect, but I want that fast shutter that I get, even mm -hmm. though the, the normal exposure would be pretty slow. So I'm, I'm actually bending the app to what I want by, by treating a, a feature of it as something I can exploit. And that's what I did here. This particular shot was actually the first of the two shots it took before okay. it did the blend. If I had tried to take this shot without HDR, it never would have come out sharp because it would have tried to expose and it would have been blurry and ugly and just a bad deal. As it stands, it's still a little blurry, but not, not too bad. You know what, Mr. Sweeney? You mind yes, sometime in the future, because I know you're going to be up under the water again shooting something. Oh, um, okay. Just taking one of those bad shots and sharing it and letting us see what it looks like. Yeah. You know? Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll make a point of doing it where it's clearly defined and we, we can talk about it. Okay. Now, I actually put up three shots over a period of the, the two weeks. So this this was me. Yep. Like that. Oh, that's a, I love classic. that shot. Now, now, this is an interesting shot because this one was actually taken with the forward facing camera on the iPhone. Mm -hmm. which shoots at a very low res, um, it, they call it FaceTime, mm -hmm. but it's, it's like 480 by 800 pixels. It's ridiculously low. Yeah, it's like VGA, if that. Yeah, if <laughs> that. But it was a challenge to myself that I wanted to take a portrait of myself without any help, so I had to hold the camera. The, the light is coming through a, a very small, um, whoops, cheap softbox I have using my cheap LED lights. So that's the light source. And I do have that on a stand. And I have it in the classic short lighting where you got all the shadow on the side narrowing my face a bit. Nice. And it was it was processed on the iPhone. And then the um, the final one was this one here. That is totally cool. Now this oh, one was oh, also like that one. Now, now this one here, I, I put up a before and after, but it's not in the challenge, so we'd have to find it in the photo stream. This particular shot, the the deal here is I wanted the background, the the clouds that you see. Yeah. I wanted her face, and it was such an extreme difference between the two that if I took a normal picture for her, the background blew out completely to white. Right. So what I did is I exposed for the background to get what I could of the background. I used the built-in flash on the iPhone as, as junking garbage as it is to throw <laughs> a little light on her face. And then I dropped it in to Snapseed twice. First time was to punch the exposure way up and still keep the background. The second time was to do a spot work on her face alone to bring up the face only and to add the um, drama look to it. Okay, so you, you, you touched it up, saved it, Oh, this, this, was a serious, this was a serious touch-up. This, right. this will show you just how far you can push the uh, JPEGs on an iPhone. You know, there's a lot of debate about RAW versus JPEG, and you, know, you can't do adjustments with JPEGs. To an extent, they're true, but within limitations, if you know how to work that JPEG, you can really push it a, a long ways. And if you, if you go into the photo stream on our group here, you'll see the before and after, and, and you'll really appreciate it because her face was pretty dark. You, you could barely see her eyes. There was virtually no detail on the face in the original picture. I was going to try to pull it up, but <clears throat> excuse me, I'm too dead. I'm slow. Uh, let me, let me you get it on your camera roll possibly here? Well, let me... That is such a good picture. Uh oh, did Mike Sweeney drop out? Uh -oh. He did. Hello, bye-bye. Lost his bandwidth. Or maybe Google didn't like him. Come on back, Mike, okay? Hey, so what else just dropped out? That was Portis. He just left. Holy cow. Is California shaking? I hope they're all right. Mr. Knight, you're up next. Hurry before it kicks you, too. Oh, no, 
Michelle's up. Michelle's up. Michelle's up. Oh, oh yeah, God. Michelle. The devil Sorry. she is. That's right. Go ahead, <laughs> Go ahead Michelle. You're up. Well, sure. You know I can't share these things. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, I don't want that. Wait a minute. Oh. Go to Robert. <laughs> Go to Robert. All right, Robert, you ready? We'll go to you, brother. <laughs> All right. Got me. There you go. Looks good, Look Robert. at how white your teeth are, man. All right. So that was rude. This... <laughs> he did it today, sweetie. <laughs> I think Google still has to work on their uh, Hangouts and everything yeah, after the uh, switch over. Amen to that. So yeah. this is. <laughs> we'll come back, Sweeney. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it up. So this was my self-portrait. It took me a while to kind of figure this one out, but I used a little bit of voice activation, did some editing in Picasso, and the background is actually my grill cover. <laughs> the grill cover? What is it? What is it on? I mean, is it just hanging or? No, it's on my grill. This was taken out on my back deck. I used a tripod and my phone and set it up and framed out the grill first did a couple of test shots so I could figure out which position to get in and how to get in there and this took me about three shots okay and I got there used the used a timer built into the phone set it for 10 seconds yelled shoot smiled hope not to blink and let it take the picture that's that's good stuff man because this is a man with his grill with his favorite squad and some sunshine. That, that brother's happy. And nice white teeth. <laughs> yeah, and nice <laughs> white teeth. I need to get my um, teeth like that. The ladies points it out. <laughs> the way I got the um, the red and the red to pop was I used the red and yellow filter. Um, went in Picasso and did the focal black and white so I could tone down the rest of it up the contrast. Where you're getting the rays of sunshine, that's natural. That's just where the sun was. And then yeah. I did some saturation and a vignette um, filter as well. Outstanding. I just did what? those white teeth, those are natural. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Well, thank and you, I got Mr. Knight. One more to share. Actually, okay. a couple. Give me just a second here. I want to make sure I get them. All right. These no one has seen yet. Uh-oh. Oh, that's scary. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's, oh, like that's that. the deck. Wait a minute. Did it go away? There we go. Okay. Do you guys see it? Yep. Okay. Yep. So this is just a petal. We recently bought flowers to put out in the yard, and we're still working on it some because final frost finally happened. So it's after the 15th of May. We can plant flowers. <laughs> but we got some planters, some um, hanging ones, and this is one of the geranium leaves that fell off. Mm. And so I used that, and this is no editing. This is just straight camera. Rule of thirds, brother. And then I took this one as well. Oh, nice. Well, I like that's, that. that's cool. Oh, yeah. This one I did set up, actually. Because I was like... I was like, huh, where the pedal? That looks good. So then I set the pedal here and then set this one and then kind of let the other ones trail off into the distance yeah, to give a little bit more depth. Nice. See, that shows yeah, so much uh, emotion, I think. Yeah, and, and you have the, all the distractions with the wood just giving it more line, more distance, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this was the camera was basically sitting on the deck itself when I took this when the phone was. And shot, this one I'll show for my wife. She made um shrimp and grits. Charles uh, South yes. Carolina favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'll take sir. that, thank you. I'll take that. I'll take an order. <laughs> it was very good. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I got for this week. All right, man. Thank you again. Those are very nice. I like that the trail off of the uh, with the pedals just trailing away like that. Oh, man. A couple things that happened. Also, Dreams Time accepted one photo for me for stock photography. All right. Woo! Congratulations. Yeah. And I gained also a most popular picture on 500 Picks, which I joined this week as well. Really? Nice. Good job, dog. 
Thank you. Now, Mr. Sweeney. Yes, sir. I'm going to come back to you. Oh, look at the before and after. So I, I, I posted up the whole thing in another group about how I did this. Uh -huh. But on the left side, you can actually see the original picture. That's straight out of camera. No alterations at all. On the right-hand side is the final picture. And you can see that I exposed for the sky to get the clouds and the rocket because I really wanted this too because that set the location. But you can hmm. see how dark the face went when I did that, even using the flash that's built into the camera. Wow. But with the exposure, you can see how much I was able to pull out of the JPEG, even as dark as it was. You just got to be cautious and kind of work it a little bit. If you if you're not cautious, does it get noisy or grainy? It, it turns grainy and it you get this red blue nonsense going on and it kind of uh, artifacts. You start seeing these jagged things showing up in your colors. Right. So Snapseed's got a a feature that'll let you actually do a spot adjustment. Yeah, I've and, done that a couple times. You, you really need to to learn how to use that particular part of the tool because it brings a lot of flexibility to uh, everything. And in this particular case, I did one adjustment on the face, then I went back and I did each eye separately. Oh, wow. 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 That's a lot of work. <laughs> well, I'm like, that's, the one, you, that's the one where you Sarah. have the circle, you paste, you put it there, and then you can widen right. it. You hit the plus sign, you hit the plus yeah. sign, and then you put the circle where you want it, and then you can make it, the circle smaller or bigger, shrink yeah, right. it or enlarge it. And then you can actually adjust what's within that circle right. independently of everything else. Yeah. What I didn't like is it's that option only gives you like three different parameters you can use: brightness and contrast and was it white balance or something? You just you just have to learn how to use the tool. That's all, Ant. That's why I loaded it. Well, that's why I loaded it twice into the app. Right. You know? Smart man. Smart man. You know, nothing says you only load it once and have to do everything one time with one Gross. pass. Yeah. Gross. Right. Now, the the final cheat I have on my on my JPEG images in particular, to my Cheater. taste, yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would say clear it today. Most times, I find that the images that come out of the the smartphones and the iPhone in particular to be soft to my taste. And I don't really particularly care for that. And I have yet to find an app inside of the iPhone that does what's called a high-pass filter. So I'll take my JPEG, I save it, I throw it into my desktop system, I load it into Photoshop, and I do one pass with the high-pass filter and then save it out. Hmm. And that high-pass filter is what really brings up the sharpness nicely without artifacting everything. It's really neat. That's neat. Uh, oh, and I, I should add, I, I was just looking at my own notes here. So who who knows about um who knows about vignetting? Yep. I know what it looks like. Well well do you? Because what what really happens is um in most apps vignetting is just an overlay of black and they right. adjust the opacity on it. They make the edges what they call burn in look or a vignette. Right. If you want to do it in a, a stylistic way that doesn't look offensive, you do what's called a color vignette, where you're actually darkening the color rather than adding black. Okay. It's a subtle oh, okay. when you see it done, and that's what I actually did in this picture. That's one reason that the corners of the skies look so blue, is that that's, a, that's what they call a color vignette. So I'm actually adjusting the colors to go dark, real punchy on the, in the vignette rather than applying black and then just fading it out. Yeah. And now there will be a quiz. Away on my screen. There it goes. There will be a quiz. There will be a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, Mr. Swain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff. Well done. Thank you. Now, um, Michelle, I'm going to share your pictures for you, okay? Thank you so much. All right. First up, That's right. Start here, screen share. Ooh, fine. Michael Sweeney, yeah. put your costume back on. All yes, right. dear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm naked. 
All right, so now on, you got to give us the details. Not of, not of Robert. Sorry, you got to give us the details. <laughs> <laughs> Which details would you like, Aunt? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Oh, like am I talking now? Yeah, it's your <laughs> turn. Your turn. Yes. Okay, um, that's Rose. I work with her. And people mistake us for each other all the time because I wear my hair like that sometimes. But I took a picture of her and her hair because it's always so shiny. You can't see that in the picture, but you can <laughs> a little bit. Right. I like her face. Her skin looks so smooth. Oh yeah. Well, you know that was. Um, I guess that was, I took it in black and white, and then I think I put it in black and white in camera 360, but I didn't do anything else to it than that. I didn't smooth anything or do anything else. just made it black and white twice. That's it. All right. So now we'll go to your other one. Again, it's Robert. Aunt. It's Robert. Uh, there we go. My shine. What's up with that? No, we got you. I am a pirate. It's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you got this no, shot I, here. If you would crop that just a little bit more, man. Yeah. I say yeah. cut that out right there. Yeah. And, the, and the, on the left too. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd cut the right and. I'd probably crop the hairline and the shoulder down and crop yep. the top a little bit and just zoom in on the face. That'd I would totally do that too. That is and awesome. I'd, and I'd leave the white space on the left. Negative space is a wonderful thing to work with. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, yeah. When, I, when I, took, I took it a couple of months ago, actually, you can tell I got on a turtleneck, so it was cold then. Uh huh. And it was just, you know, how I was feeling about something somebody said about my hair. Well, well, according according to our chat room, no right comment. Here, according to our chat room, someone says this looks sassy. Is that what you were thinking at that particular time? No, I wasn't feeling sassy. I was feeling evil. Oh, there's evil. no swearing on here. Okay. You mean, uh, you mean she was feeling like the horns were coming out? Yeah, I'm she was looking. Okay. She was a little peeled. Yeah. She was wearing the horn she was wearing right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I love it. I love yes, it. Yes, yes nice. Matt Lee, that is it right there. That is it. <laughs> but yeah, if, you, if she cropped yeah. it, that would really have been looking good. Take some, just cropped it a little bit. Wow. <laughs> but you know what I'm going to do? Mike, you said crop it on the right. Is that what you said? Yeah. So it's. it's I wish I could draw on your picture. So... I would almost do um, what we'd call like a glamour crop, where you actually crop off all the way to the ear, probably. Okay. On the right hand side, and I would cut off some of the hair on the top. Okay. So your face becomes the real focus point, but I would leave the white space on the left side. Okay. But I would take off the whatever that is in the bottom corner. It's yeah. Thing. Yeah. I, I don't know. You lose carpet. her chin. You, you, you lose her chin when you did that crop. No, but if you just brought it over to her shoulder. Nah, I think it'd be too tight on the face then. That would be good. If it were me, I'd just airbrush it out and call it a day. Or do that. That's the other thing. <laughs> that works. That works. I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. Thank you very much. You, you know, I, I'll say this because this applies to anybody with a smartphone. People are afraid of cropping. They are deathly afraid of cropping. And yet I've seen so many pictures with a with a with a, a interesting crop would make the picture so much better. Don't be afraid to cut a pixel. No, off. That's not it really doesn't hurt the pixel. You know, you know, I um I cropped this one um of uh Patrick took. So this is his original. Um I like to um, bring in I wanted to boss. show you guys this. So this was the original. Can you guys see it? Right. Uh -huh. I see you. Yes. And then um, this is how I cropped it. A little, little editing. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. That's I much like better. that. Much I better. like that. I mean, the you just get this. So first of all, you see the baby more in intimate. him. But then you yeah. you really get his tattoos too. So it's like this soft father, and then you got the hard like skull thing on his. Yeah. And the uh, scorpion. Yeah. See, like, that, I don't that's know. that's all about cropping. I mean, you're, uh -huh. you're you're taking what the picture is and you're magnifying it selectively. 
And see, his whole head's not there. It's just his face. His hair is all cut off. Doesn't matter. It doesn't really add anything to the photograph. So you get rid of that stuff and really get your eyes to go right to the baby and to his face. Well, you realize that what works. you did is you dropped the baby into the rule of thirds. Rule of thirds. That's right. See, you do it naturally. Yeah. You know? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah. You Are said we something. technical enough photography-wise for you, Ant? Yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Now, um, Deborah, you said something interesting. Let me take the screenshot off. You said you, 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 the head wasn't really adding thing, adding anything to the picture, so you just cropped it out. Is that a decent rule of thumb when it comes to cropping? Just what if it doesn't add anything to the picture? Just take it out. Yeah, and I do that like with photography for me. Um, either blur it or you can remove it using photo editing tools or mm -hmm. if you're you're trying to bring focus to something you could crop it to mm -hmm. remove those extraneous it's just to bring your eye in um, to the, some focal point yeah so, okay that's thank you that's me I don't know thank I'll you. teach class though so <laughs> this is class. This, this is, is class our room. class. Don't you I like this <laughs> every week. Every week. The SS point and shoot. R. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now, Portis. Portis, I see you have a, a um a picture up for a second. Now I don't see it. There it goes. No. Do you all see his picture? Yeah. Yeah. I see it below, but the hangout is acting goofy. Oh, yeah, he's gone. He, he's, he's gone. Again. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll move on. On we'll move on to my shot here. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Who's got all the sound effects going? Let's see. Sorry, that's my clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow, real sound. <laughs> real sound. Did I not submit a picture here. in here this weekend? Yeah, you did. Here. There it is. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now Love this is this picture. This is one of my hard hits. Now, sadly, it didn't necessarily catch his personality. His head uh, looks really soft, not hard. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay. Trust but, um, me, but, 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 that, that is he is a hard hit. <laughs> but he, um, what I did is we went, we we went in, into my closet. As I said, let me just try to take a picture in the dark. So I just went into the closet, um, and closed the closet up, and just said, "All right, I'm just gonna." snap the camera and hope I get lucky kind of thing with wherever the angles are. And if you saw in the community, I had another one that was pretty much just half of his face because the camera was so close to him. But um, <laughs> it doesn't catch his personality. That <laughs> one catches yours perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Now this here, yeah, that's um, the commute to work. And I was thinking about the, the, the community and I said, you know what? If I can figure out how to catch capture this, I'm going to publish it. And of course, we just stopped in the middle of traffic. And you like, don't know if oh, you, I, okay. I don't know if you traffic can tell how I really feel. <laughs> I like the truck in the background too. Right, right. Because I snapped a couple of them, but then this is the one that I like the most because of that truck being back there, and it actually looked like I was stopped at the time. Sorry. You just flipping all off my pictures. Just wrong. <laughs> there are no, wait, there aren't there other ones you put in? Just yeah, those two? No, they're in the community. They're just in the community. Oh, they're in the community. Yeah, I'll I'll grab them real quick. Let's see here. We'll I'll show off her. Kathy's though. Let me just get Kathy's picture. Sure, go ahead. While I'm here. Hello, Look. Kathy. Really good. If I you're like out it. There, it is a good shot. That is a good shot. So there are a lot of good shots this t this time around. I think right, Google appreciates all of the facial recognition information that this community shares with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like none. <laughs> right, I, found, I found my picture here. I'm going to share, share my screen. I never tag. All right. So oh, you got it here now. Yep, I got it there. All right, now this one I took it after. Um, after Yoke Point, did Google just kill it again? No, it's up. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. But the uh, face recognition is kicking in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, I took this one after yoga class, and our yoga class is always really, really dark. And when I came out, it was bright 90 degrees, and I just came out to get 
some sun just to try to soak it up a little bit. And I said, well, let me snap a picture. And sure enough, you can see how bad my eyes are hurting from all of that bright sun. Well, I you know what's around. interesting, Ant? Huh? Is, is with that white collar, I thought you were officiating something. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, with that white collar, I think he was going, looked like he was getting ready to go into the priesthood. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be really bad. You know, you got the light <laughs> shining down on you, and you got your white collar going on. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I like how this one turned out. I took the kind of saintly judges. looking. What's that? Saintly looking. Really? Yeah. I, yeah, see, well, I didn't the, think. The sun yeah, you got angle all that glow and, coming and on. And the background stuff. of the building really works yeah. with it. Saint Ant. <laughs> y'all think y'all think much higher of me than I do because <laughs> that didn't even. Yeah, you know, you crop that picture a little bit, you almost have a cross over your head. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Man. But I had fun with that one. I just took the um, I took a little bit of blur around the edges here. There and try to give it somewhat of a focus <laughs> on my chrome dome. <laughs> and then I had one more here that I wanted to share. Um, this one. It's not a portrait of me or anything, but I was, I was what the babies? talking about um, yeah, well, was talking targets. about how you could add just certain points to darken or edit with, within Snapseed. And that's what I did here in the back of the lake because if if it was the, the actual color, you didn't get any of the shadow of the trees on the other side, and it, it just didn't just didn't look as nice to me. And I I thought this gave it a little bit of contrast, you know. It looks good. Thank you. That was a nice shot. And of course, I hate those damn geese. Can't stand them. Michelle, do you have that picture? It's you know the one. I'll share it. Oh yeah, she. Yeah, well, well, uh, while she's looking. I want to I want to show everybody a, a crop job. All right, that's good. So so this is this is one of the glamour shots I was doing, and the the post processing also what you would consider a glamour post processing. So this is what you get when you get Photoshop with a Wacom and some time in your hands. But not bad. What I what I really wanted to show is how. The hair was cropped. The face was slightly cropped on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. You lost the whole right shoulder. But with the gray and the roundness of the left shoulder, which goes right into her face, mm -hmm. your eye is pushed into her face because of the crop. Mm -hmm. It's this, almost this, too like the angle of her shoulder is like an arrow. Right. It is. It's, a, it's a graphical element that you can manipulate. Right. You know, so that is nice. I like that. Play, play with cropping. You know, and nothing says the crop has to be a rectangle. Twenty years ago, we all shot with square cameras. Nobody remembers that because nobody goes into their picture albums. Yeah. Oh, the, I have, I've all, seen them. All the wedding <laughs> albums. All the wedding albums twenty years ago were square pictures. Right. You now know, you see a lot of sixteen by nine aspects. New. You know. Yeah. You know when I when I crop, I don't even pay any attention to the dimensions. I just crop to what I think the Photo looks the nicest. same here. Something same here. Oh, uh, we just is... lost wing. Damn it! I think something's still up with this thing, and every whenever you're doing the screen sharing, sometimes it wants to kick you out. Now, Deborah, ah. you have you have another shot here. Is this from my man yeah, Sola? Yeah, when they show Solas. Yeah. I really, really, really love. For me, this this really captured what I was trying to like oh, yeah. get across to Ooh, everyone. Oh, lies! I was kind of sad that this didn't get as many votes because this really is. It says love, you know. You you just look at it and you you see what it what it, he means. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. what does it mean to him? Um, you know, I don't know. I just I really liked it. Yeah, I like that's a good shot. You I know, think I voted for it. As you can see, I gave it a hills. Yeah, it, it, it's that's really nice. Yeah. Well and done. That was all the right. old ones I wanted to show. All right. And I see uh, Robert has more geese up. Yeah, this was oh, Mich this go. is Mich Thanks, Michelle. Robert. She was giving me a hard time. <laughs> you know, Michelle was listening to my podcast this week, apparently, and. Uh, yeah, too bad it's not, not too bad it's not hunting season. 
Hey, those things are bombardiers <laughs> when it comes to cars. Now, um, you need a like a fifteen dollar car wash after they do a bypass. <laughs> this is true. Now, before we go, it looks like Mrs. Sweeney's got a tool there. What's that you have there? Okay, I got I got one last technique for you guys, and and this this falls under the category of advanced techniques, but there's no reason in the world why you don't want to learn how to use it. All right. So, speaking of cropping. What I've got here is I took a picture of one of my vintage cameras, and I took the bride and the groom, and I dropped their images onto the lens. Cool. I saw so that. I'm actually, I'm actually using a prop as the cropping element. Nice. So it's the, wedding, yeah. it's the wedding dress on the background with the vintage camera, and then the bride and groom are actually cropped within the element, which is the camera itself. So, Mike, nice. is that is that a Photoshop like paste into when you yes. highlight? Yes. Okay. This 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 is I happen to use Photoshop, but PhotoForge, which runs on the iPad, can do the same thing. Cool. And there there's some other tools that can do it. You because select. all you're basically doing is you're making a circle, right? Blanking it, and then you you drop in the picture underneath it, and using your uh, top picture as a mask. Wow. Okay. So it's a very simple technique, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys learn how to use it with something. And I don't care what tool, but find something to play with. And uh, it, it can really open up the world for you for some fun stuff. Hmm. That is creative, brother. Very nice. Oh, how about that? Google didn't blow me out when I yeah, it didn't kick you out this time. Hallelujah. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and um, wrap this here puppy up, and congratulations to um, Brady. Uh, we will be getting in touch with you in the community to give us a challenge for this week. Um, before we go out, we'll let everybody sign off and plug anything they'd like to plug. First, Miss Alice Saunders. Uh, nothing this week. Nothing this week. <laughs> no. Not even, not even many. No. Okay. Nothing. No we don't have anything going on yet. All right. Well, thank you again for coming out this week. Miss <laughs> Deborah. Artsy, yeah. artsy. Nothing to plug. Nothing to I'm plug. I'm just here to uh, get my art on. <laughs> art. I said art. Art. Art's on. Art, you said something else. We, we, we didn't right. say a word. <laughs> Not <laughs> that other Mr. word. Leave it be. <laughs> Mr. Sure. Matt Lee, anything you'd like to plug, brother? Uh, Matt Lee. Uh, I think you're uh, muted, maybe. Oh, that was clever, too. I said no, just this monocle and this mustache. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Sir. Well played. All right, Mr. Michael King. Well, anybody in the Houston area, we're having our um, our monthly hog meeting, and we got a Android slash iOS uh, developer coming in to talk to us. Houston, look them up, folks. Michael King four zero two three on Twitter. Yep, and it's uh, the Houston area Apple Users Group. All right. Thank you, there, Mr. King. Miss Michelle, horns on her head, thorns. <laughs> um, you could look at not an expert, but dot com. Um, the last thing I wrote on there was about the Robert Glasper show that I went to. And it was excellent. I need to check that out because your site was pretty entertaining. Oh, okay. <laughs> pretty entertaining. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, for coming out. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sweeney. Yes, sir. Anything you'd like to plug with us before we Oh, I out? always have something to plug. Well, do it. What you got? I have. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, see, a ra let, let's see a raise of hands for those who have actually tried video recording with their smartphone. That me. would be me. Pretty much. Me. Now, I do it all the time. Out of, everybody the in the, out of everybody, and I see all you guys out there watching us raising your hands. I see you. <laughs> Google has some great advantages. The one thing I want to ask you is when you made your video recording, how did the audio sound? Yeah, Excellent that's, for me. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Yeah, mine was pretty good. Mine was pretty good. Yeah. But I was also recording in a situation where professional audio was used to pipe the sound out. So and I was okay. right there near it. So it now was actually cheating. really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, it's, it's been hit or miss for me, Swinney. Kind of hit and miss, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little echoey. You get that room thing going on. Sometimes or there's a lot of ambience. The, the mic doesn't point the right way or whatever. 
Okay. Right. So, what you want to find, if you have an iPhone, is something called a Fostex AR4i. Looks something like this. Okay. And the way it works is the phone plugs in. Let's see here. Uh oh. Only problem is, it's only if you have the iPhone 4, uh, 4S. They have one for the 5 coming out. Oh, okay. With the and, lightning. Right. You got stereo mic recording. These, these mics actually come out. Wow. Nice. Now, what's more important is you can pull these mics out. You now have two audios in the top. You actually have an audio and a monitor port on the bottom, tripod on the bottom, tripod on the side, and you can actually uh, put a light or a shotgun, sorry, get there, there on the go. top here. And the audio quality of this thing rocks. One thing, if you, if you do podcasts and you're recording your guest and yourself, you can actually set this up. Let's see, there we go. Hmm. Where you can face each person. And so each person gets their own mic. Or, or you can wire yourself with a lav mic or something like that and feed it into the phone. That so if lav you're interested mic in you audio. That's hilarious. That yeah, time. so my little homemade lav mic, that's for another show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good stuff, man. That was so, good stuff. So the AR4i from Fostec, definitely recommend you taking a look at it if you do any kind of audio or you have a need for audio. Uh, you mind dropping a link in the well. chat and I'll stick it yeah. in our in our description yeah, here? I'll drop it in. Cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you. As usual, appreciate you coming out this week. And um next up, and last but not least, Mr. Robert Knight. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. <laughs> you yes. trying to make me sick with the yep. <laughs> There we um, go. Oh yeah. Five guys, get one. Very, very uh, yes. good. So good. Dude, five mm. guys is so good. That's a lot. <laughs> All right. Good plug. <laughs> good plug. <laughs> Not a sponsor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm at this. You can find me at dispersedthoughts.com. Also, I want to give a shout out to all the new members of the community that are sharing photos um, recently. Um, we have got a lot of new members. Hopefully, they'll join the contest soon, weekly, so we'll see some of their shots as well um, during the show. Um, oh, yeah. Everybody just keep posting and keep learning. That's right. And don't That's be intimidated, right. new people. Don't bite. Right. If you, if you want to try something, we, do we it. don't bite much. <laughs> If you have any questions, Not give, often. Us a, give us a private message, any of us. We will yeah. be more welcome to give you the rundown, lowdown, whatever, down. <laughs> You're no, having no, a no. tough Keep time, aren't you? Keep it PG. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again, Mr. Knight, as always. Now, uh, last but not least, myself, um, I'm Aunt Pruitt. You can find me on antpruitt.com. Or on a new domain.com and um, tech page one. And also hanging out with my man Matt Lee each Wednesday night at yet another tech show.com where we sit and talk and laugh at some of our great tech news of the week. If you're I'm interested, that one of these days. yeah, do that, Devor. We'd love that. Um, yeah, I need to check that one out too every now and then. And um, also, yeah, Matt, Attack of the Androids, he's also hosting that. <laughs> you oh, that show too. Now, um, if you're interested in joining our community for the folks that's been watching, I appreciate everyone that's been in and out watching it, watching this week's episode. Um, just hit us up on Google Plus. We do do a slight background check because honestly, we just don't want spammers and looky loos in the community. We enjoy engaging with one another and learning and sharing our different tips and tricks. That's what this community is about. That's why these shows are as good as they are, because of our, our, our you know, how we want to do things in here. And so here I thought it was your flawless up. delivery. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if, you're Google page, if your Google Plus page is filled with nastiness, I'm not You've got no shot. <laughs> got no shot. Also, again, if you're in the community and you invite somebody and they're waiting to be approved, let a mod know. So, let, yeah. Just in yeah. case they may be brand new to the photography, they may not have many pictures, but they right. want to get in, let us know. That way they will get in. 
Right. Can, can we get a definition of nastiness? Like, what What do you... Hoochie mama. <laughs> Keep it PG, please, no, sir. Yeah. PG. I mean, there I was, was someone curious. who asked to join, and it was just a little raunchy. His page was very raunchy, and it was just like, I'm like, what kind of photos are you going <laughs> to... Yeah. Yeah, it was... Like, it was okay. Yeah, something like that. I can see. No way, Jose. We just try to keep it PG, basically. You know. We try. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, thank you everyone in the community tonight for joining us. It is, I mean, you guys, as I've said a million times, you make this so easy each week. Really appreciate that. And um, everyone, continue to uh, check us out each Thursday at approximately 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or you can look us up on our reruns on YouTube. Um, you can just go to the Ant Pruitt channel on YouTube, and you'll see it there every week. Thank you all for joining, and we hope to see you all next week. Peace.